it is flying. We Rise, are flying. Motherfucker. What's up, honkies? We're doing something special tonight. Every summer, I like to wait till it's good and damn hot. And it just happens to be the day that Ryan Teran from Lone Star Paramotor came by. And I like to just go up until I get cold. I'm bringing a jacket and gloves, actually. And I do need to clean these shades because they're filthy, as usual. I like clean shades when I fly, though. Oh, the worst part about it is putting on your jacket when you're so sweaty. Pull the sleeves up. Leave it unzipped for a moment. I like to start the zipper so I don't have to fish for it. Look at that. I got a Lone Star shirt. I'll filthy it up tomorrow. Thank you, Ryan. How do I touch my glasses immediately? How does that happen? I just wiped them off. It's fingerprint on both lenses. I'm going to have 19 things happen now that I'm in like, oh, it's miserable mode. Yeah. Welcome to the amazing world of Kalu. It is a crosswind, downwind launch, but I think I can do it. Try not to screw it up too bad anyway. I picked the wrong direction. Certainly. I'm gonna mess it up since I got a jacket on. There's a nine out of 10 chance. If I put gloves on too right now, it goes up to 10 out of 10. The reward is worth the pain. Clip. Oh, oh, oh. no. Why now? There we go. Run, I says. Run good. Woo, make the wind blow. That feels better. Can an old man do it? We'll see. One, two, three, go. I'm embarrassed. I turned the carburetor screw the wrong way. <laughs> I'm gonna try to slip out of the harness here. Well, at least one arm. And I'm gonna reach around. Motor's dead. Ow, it's hot though. And I'm gonna close this high jet all the way with my finger. I know you can't see what I'm doing and I'm sorry, but this isn't about making a video. Okay, so that's closed. That's a half, three quarters. Okay. I've got it closed a quarter. That's usually where I start when I'm like around Denver altitude, which is probably where I'm at. Come on through there. I have a jacket on that don't help. Okay, now do a restart and then climb back up. What altitude am I at? 1540, okay, that took 250 meters. <laughs> okay, clear. Should run good now, let's see. Jacket up some though, because cold gloves. I ain't trying to set any records today. I'm just going high. That's all. Doesn't really matter if I lose a little for a minute. All right, let me get this one back on and hit the gas again. Also, didn't fill my tank to the brim either, so I actually don't have it a couple thousand feet worth of fuel left, is what it looks like. Man, I've really drifted over here to the east. I'm gonna push back west, get to the sun. You can see the winds are west, blowing the tops off of that development. The stuff rises up, it's sheared off. It's quite beautiful. Boys, I believe that is the end of my climb. We'll go ahead and kill this beast. Oh, I'm, I'm just getting kind of chilly. And I know I got a lot of chilly air on the way home. Yeah, I hear you. I like to turn the sound off of that. <laughs> Burr, howdy. Yeah, 20, shit, I don't know, 2,500 meters approximately. I, I wasn't even looking at the Vario when I killed the engine, so I'm not sure how high I was. I've been looking for airplanes anyway. I heard jets flying over here earlier today. I almost topped out the moisture. Yeah, I'm well above, above. I'm above hypoxia, maybe. <laughs> I'm well above cloud base is what I was trying to say, but my mouth is kind of cold. 
So I can't talk right. That's what I'm blaming it on. Oh, somebody's flying around down there. I see a paraglider in motion. You can't see it. Man, I went from feeling real good to near shivering, and now I kind of am shivering, and I'm like got a cramp in my foot or something. I did do a pharmacy day today. Yeah, it's pretty easy to see aircraft looking down on them too against the trees. Like being level with them or below them is kind of hard to see. Wow, there's something reflecting down there at the end of the highway. I wonder what that is. Maybe like roofs or mirrors, or maybe windows or something. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about that. Let's see if I can find him. I know there's still probably plenty of room between us, but I'd hate for uh, me to just fly down into the top of someone's wing just because I wasn't looking. No, he's still way down there. <laughs> yeah, the little move about adjusting the carb. It's a risk-reward situation. I was able to tune the carburetor and change my mixture without any special tooling. I just had to slip an arm out of the harness and then put it back. Putting it back was actually the hardest part of the whole deal. Yeah, I'd rehearsed it before at a lower altitude, but it came into play today. You try to think of scenarios that come up that you're ready for when the time plays out. Sorry. I just got lost in the beauty of the clouds out here. Pretty cool development going on. I think I hear a motor. I hear a jet. Where is it? I see a little streak of a cloud. Of course, where you hear a jet ain't necessarily where you see a jet. I don't recognize that wing. That may be Ron down there. Dave Hamlin's been demoing wings. I can't remember what he's got and what he don't. He's not on his usual one most of the time. That's funny. As soon as I hit cloud base, it starts bouncing. 1282 meters. I'll probably land to refuel and then just go for like a regular low flight and mess around since it's calm. I think that's going to be the move to make tonight. I feel the humidity coming back. I do. It's back. Let my throttle hang down. Just a note, if you're cruising along and your propeller's spinning, you don't want to drop your throttle because it can whip back. But you can set it back gently against the frame and it's unlikely to get into the propeller if you just let it kind of take its natural set. That was totally the thing to do though. The high climb into the sky. Man, I, I, I always wish I had on more clothes, but it's so hard to put that stuff on when you're down low. Like if you want to really go high, you need to put on some top of the mountain gear, a jacket, pants, boots, heavy gloves. If you do that and you can survive the lower levels, by the time you get up top, it is so comfortable. I mean, it feels good. It's just, you're sitting on top of the mountain. Yes, the temperature that typically brings me back down from a big climb. I brought a drink. I'm gonna get me a drink of it. Now that I'm warmed up enough. <laughs> One time I brought water, it was hot. And when I got up there and got cold, it was so nice to drink that hot water. Ah. <laughs> what up, Ron to Ron? If you want a wingtip pup, you're gonna have to come and get it. I got no power. We got some smoke down there, it looks like. I wonder what the heck's burning. I hear the Vario screaming. <laughs> Woo. Must be no wind down here. I could now run the wing. Not much wind anywhere to speak of. You slip your left arm, grab the hoop, and you can turn sideways in the seat and reach in there and, and, and you just gotta kinda push your arm over and you can use your finger and, and adjust the carburetor. You don't need special tools or anything, just a maneuver. Only a smooth air, but I practiced it a couple times, so. In fact, let me let me fix it while I'm sitting here. That should do the trick in our discussion we had about gust fronts we talked about what a dangerous gust front looks like and what 
a not dangerous ghost front looks like. This one looks not dangerous. It's certainly going to come by here, but I'm going to send it and fly into it and see what's what. Because behind it is completely dissipated. It looks great. There's some redevelopment off over here to this stuff, but that's that's different. That's over there going that way. That's not going to affect us here. I'm happy. Let's do it. Woo! That's heavy. I said, that's what she said, Joe. <laughs> I think I can do it. We'll see. Okay. Dragon, that makes it even harder. <laughs> Woo! Bunch of grass in my shoe. Let's see, what is this one? Uh, I don't know, that may be, may be something. I'm trying to identify the weeds in my shoe. I suck. Man, the things you can do on these machines. It is flying, baby. It is flying. We are flying low over the weeds, around the clouds, into the sky, looking sideways, upside down. It's amazing that we can do this with a couple of gallons of damn gasoline and some machines. Oh, so glad that we're alive right now. So glad that I am alive for this moment in history where people could just take flight at will. <laughs> uh, and I'm just a man of simple tastes. What a wonderful time it is to live here. Like a freaking magic carpet ride, man. Oh, oh, damn. Why does it, why is it so good? Why is it so good? Oh, I know why. Because you can do this. Sad that it's over, but I don't want to put it up in the wet and dark again. This episode of Scholar Show is brought to you by Lone Star Paramotor, Ron Ron, David Hamlin. Whatever he said. <laughs> and a West, my, a West three nine hour win. Good job, Nation. What's up, Kyle? Out.